so let us move to the one more problem but generally whenever you are going to solve any problem in mathematics the first of all we should visualize the all the steps in our mind but in general actually what we do means we try to concentrate on the solution so that's not a criteria but strategy is very important i already discussed the strategies how to solve the problems in various playlists which are are available in our sakala vidya youtube channel but for this case in this problem let us come to the, this problem now just if you observe in the numerator we have sin x plus cos x but in the denominator we have sin 2x how could we relate this one for the substitution appropriate substitution see just if you check for the sin x plus cos x whose derivative is sin x plus cos x the derivative of sin x plus cos x let us see it now try like this d by dx of sin x plus cos x see the derivative of sin x is cos x whereas the derivative of cos x is minus sin x no so now let us try d by dx of sin x minus cos x see the sin x derivative is cos x whereas minus cos x derivative is plus sin x so that means here in order to get sin x plus cos x dx it had better to select sin x minus cos x is equal to something so that's why in this case the better substitution is sin x minus cos x is equal to something t okay so again we get one more doubt here but how could we change the sin 2x in terms of t because here substitution is sin x minus cos x is equal to t it's very simple if you square sin x minus cos x is equal to t on both sides simply the sin 2x can be put in the form of t and with reference to the substitution i already explained to you we have to change or it is inevitable to change the lower limit and upper limit so here we visualize the problem so that we can proceed so now let us solve this problem let us say i equals to integral 0 to pi by 4 sin x plus cos x by 9 plus 16 sin 2x so let us have the substitution part here so let us say this sin x minus cos x is equal to t so you might have recollected in order to get sin x plus cos x we have to say sin x minus cos x so now dt by dx sin x differentiation cos x cos x is minus sin x minus of minus plus sin x now dt is equal to sin x plus cos x dx it's very clear this sin x plus cos x dx is replaced by dt very simple now let us change lower limit and upper limit x is equal to 0 now t is equal to we have sin x minus cos x sin 0 minus cos 0 this is 0 minus 1 so minus 1 now lower limit is changed as minus 1 now upper limit x is equal to pi by 4 now t is equal to sin pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4 this is 1 by root 2 Minus one by root two. What does it become? Yes, these two gets cancelled. We have zero. 
Now, one more thing you should remember, we have to change the sign to x also. Here, as we have sin x minus cos x is equal to t, squaring on both sides, here we get sin x minus cos x whole square equal to t square, simply a minus b whole square only. What is a minus b whole square? a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, we get this one as sin square x plus cos square x minus 2 sin x cos x is equal to t square. Again, you will be have having some doubt here. So, how shall we get here sin 2x? Yes, why not? So, this is nothing but sin 2x. What is the value of this one? This identity 1. So, we can write 1 minus sin 2x equal to t square. Now, sin 2x is equal to 1 minus t square. Am I correct? You can check yourself also this step. That means, now this problem can be changed like this. The sin x plus cos x dx is replaced by dt, whereas sin 2x is replaced by 1 minus t square. Now, integral becomes i equals to limits, lower limit is minus 1, upper limit is 0, 0, this is 1 by 9 plus 16 times how much? 1 minus t square. And the sin x plus cos x and dx is replaced by dt. So, this is dt. So, integral minus 1 to 0. 1 by, let it be simplified, 9 plus 16 minus 16 t square t t, integral minus 1 to 0, 25 minus 16 t square d t. Take 16 common in the denominator only, so we get like this. 1 by 16 integral minus 1 to 0, 1 by 25 by 16 minus t square dt. Okay. So now, 1 by 16 integral minus 1 to 0, 1 by this 25 by 16 can be put in the form of a square form that is 5 by 4 whole square. Okay, how does it appear? it appears to be integral 1 by a square minus x square dx. This equal to 1 by 2a log of mod a plus x by a minus x plus c. This is the formula. So, using this formula, now we can write the value of this one. Let us write it. 1 by 16, 1 by 2 times 5 by 4 log of mod 5 by 4 plus t, 5 by 4 minus t and limits here minus 1 to 0. This is very important. 
टू वन जा टू टू जा टू वन टू एट जा दिस इज वन बाई एट इन टू फाइव फोर्टी लाग ऑफ दिस इज फाइव प्लस फोर्टी बाई फाइव माइनस फोर्टी लिमिट्स माइनस वन टू जीरो फर्स्ट लेट एस सब्सिट्यूट द अपर लिमिट नेक्स्ट लोअर लिमिट सो वन बाई फोर्टी टाइम्स लाग ऑफ टी फॉर जीरो हियर आल्सो जीरो फाइव प्लस जीरो बाई फाइव माइनस जीरो वन लाग वन यू गेट लाइक दिस लाग वन माइनस लाग ऑफ This is minus one. Five minus four is one. This is one by nine. Let me explain once again. Five minus four is one. Minus four into minus one is plus four. Nine. This very interesting. Log one by nine. We can write log of three power minus two. That is minus two log three. Minus two. Log three, so log one is zero. This is minus two log three. One by forty, zero minus of minus two log three. This is one by forty times two log three. This is one by twenty. Two hundred two twenty jar log three. This is the answer.